Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melanin Nostalgic Runner. And yes, I filmed multiple videos today. I'm wearing the same outfit because I filmed multiple videos today. I've just been like on this bowl. Like, you know what? Let's just crank it out. Anyway, um, we're back. And this is the Get Fit With Me series, Presents Accountability. And I'm putting this out there early, even before Monday. I won't be ahead of it because coming Monday, I start my half marathon training. Yes, we love that, right? We love that. So I am using, I'm gonna be using this series <laughs> basically for the rest of the year to kind of focus and talk about that, chat about that, keep myself accountable, keep myself going, but also hopefully help motivate those of you who are watching as well um to get back to where i was at before so my goal is for the year um i well by june i want to get back to my old running form um and my old running form is not 20 not 2012 like <laughs> i was in my 20s at that time but like some type of iteration the happy medium in between i'm thinking more like 2019. yes that was like five years ago but five years ago is totally obtainable versus, you know, almost 10 years ago, <laughs> you know? So, um, so the goal, well, even over 10 years ago at this point, that's 12 years ago, trying to get back to that. So that's not as realistic, but to get back to where I was at in 2019, that's doable. That's completely doable. And I'm not just talking about my running. I'm talking about how I felt weight wise, how active I was. And um, half marathon training for me is something that's helpful to get me there because it makes me be disciplined in my food intake, it helps me become more disciplined. And also, um, exercise not just running but also just like walking everywhere i walk a lot more when i'm running well i mean walking everywhere i li for those who don't know i live in chicago so it's a walkable city so you don't have to drive um and one of the patterns i got into during the the 2020 2020s of it all is i started driving my car more and i actually want to kind of you know, reverse that and get back to where i was before where i was just mainly relying on public transportation walking cycling running all that so <clears throat> or on days where i was being fancy take a lift or uber you know um so then the other thing that i used to be way better about before then too was i went to the gym very regularly like the gym was like the second home away from home and now knowing that my schedule is going to be a lot more freed up because i know when my schedule is freed up i live at the gym I don't see that being as much of an issue. So um, anyway, we're going to use this to help me stay accountable. Also, hopefully help you get there too. Um, so this first week, the longest distance I'm going to be running, I believe it's going to be six miles because I'm doing a combination for my training program. I'm doing a Hal Higdon, but I'm doing a combination of beginner and intermediate combined. So lower mileage, but more days a week running um, because I don't want to go back all the way down to the beginning because that's kind of not fair to me. But I also know I'm not at the endurance level I need to be at to be able to really truly do intermediate and feel comfortable about it and, and not get discouraged. So we're going to start with that and then because I'm also an active person, I don't just run, I like cycle, bike, and then I'm also going to be incorporating swimming pretty soon along with these yoga videos that I do. Um, I think that's, I think I'm doing more than enough, you know, so we're going to just do that. Um, so next week when I do this video, I will share what I did and what went well, what didn't go well all that good stuff because also I think what will be helpful for me to kind of stay on it and what I used to do, I actually used to write down how my workouts felt, how I was doing, do I do a good job? Do I need to bump something up? I used to be way more like meticulous about my workouts. So we're gonna get back to that too. Like pretty much this half marathon training is back to basics. 
and you don't have to do the half marathon training part with me but maybe the strength training part or maybe the yoga part or maybe like the just being active part how about that anyway i didn't want this video to be too long i think this a good five minute video will do it um please like comment subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content it's your girl sharon aka the melanin nostalgic runner and i will see you next time bye